Good evening, everyone. Buffalo Common Councilwoman Zanetta Everhart wants the city's education committee to make more of an impact. It's an important update to a committee that barely came together in the past year. Ardilla Morello sat in on tonight's discussion and has the details. Councilmember Everhart hasn't been chair of the Education Committee for long, yet if tonight is any indication, she is making a lasting impact, bringing together parents, students, and teachers all on an accessible platform. Tonight's topic of discussion, school suspensions, and what's being done to eliminate them. If they did something in the school system, they have to be punished for that, but the punishment shouldn't be not educating them. Taking them out of school is not going to help them, not going to help them um, feel better or like it's not going to fix the problem. It's only just pushing it away. How are we eliminating suspensions and how are we looking at underlining issues that are causing behavior, thereby resourcing theirs, thereby addressing having no suspension. So how do we eliminate the word suspension altogether? Parents, students and teachers at tonight's meeting got answers. Instead of sending them home, they would report to a school building, right, or an after school program or a community center or a library where they will be paired with an organization who will help them with their homework. But also after they're done with their schoolwork, they learn a skill. They do something out in the community. To put her plan into action, Everhart sat down with BPS Superintendent Tanja Williams and community groups to create a pilot program for those who are suspended most using today to share how they can help. We teach in, um, our students, our, our youth, um, how to grow their own food. And through their growing their own food, they learn the personal development skills through agriculture. There's evening activities, the Saturday academies. We measure that. We worked with the district to build a data system. And we know that when students come three times, academic scores go up, school attendance goes up, and discipline referrals drop. A ton of options now brought into the light to make sure the city and neighbors are being proactive with our youth, not reactive. We need to keep investing because if we're not investing in our children today, we will be investing in them when they're in our prison system, and that's for sure. Everhart concluded saying that she was pleased with the turnout tonight as well as the foundation that was built for the future of Buffalo youth. Reporting at City Hall, Dylan Morello, News 4.